Hey everyone, welcome to Fun Food Fashion. Another episode, another new recipe. Today is Diwali, Dipavali, or Kali Puja. So wish you all a very happy Diwali and Kali Puja. This occasion calls for something sweet. Diwali is incomplete without sweets. So today I am going to share with you a sweet recipe. But this is going to be a fusion recipe where East meets West. And the recipe is Malai cake, where cake is from the Western world and Malai is our very favorite rubbery. So let's see, jump into the recipe and see how to make this interesting Malai cake recipe. But first thing first, hit the subscribe button if you are new and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on my channel. Now let's start making Malai cake. For that, first we are going to prepare the Malai. So in a karhai I have taken 3 cups of whole milk. To that add 1 third cup of milk powder for extra creaminess and mix it so that there is no lumps. Next. 1 third cup of condensed milk you can use sugar instead of condensed milk but I am using condensed milk because this will make the malai or rabri much creamier and richer so I will suggest that you use condensed milk mix it and let it come to boil at this stage add half a teaspoon of cardamom powder or elaichi powder then some saffron a pinch of saffron for flavor and mix it now over medium flame I am going to reduce the milk into rubbery or malai stirring it occasionally so that it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom do stir it occasionally and scrape down the sides and the bottom I'm going to reduce it to one third and it's quite near to that and it has reduced to one third and it's ready let it cool down Meanwhile, we are going to make the cake. For the batter, take one third cup of dahi or yogurt. Whisk it so that there is no lumps and the yogurt or dahi is nice and smooth. So it's quite smooth. Next add one third cup of malai that we have just, just prepared. Mix it as well. Then goes one third cup of normal vegetable oil. Any vegetable oil that doesn't have any smell. Mix it as well. Then goes half a cup of powdered sugar and mix it as well. Done. This is a very interesting recipe, easy to make but delicious. Next, I am going to sift in maida or flour. Here I am using 1 cup of maida. To that add 1 teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Sift it and then gently fold it in to the batter. Don't over mix it 
just slightly do it the batter was quite dense so I'm going to add milk here I'm using one third cup of milk then goes half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and mix it lightly mix it light handedly otherwise if you over mix it the cake is going to be tough so add the milk one third cup of milk little by little I added it in two batches and now you can see the batter has come to a ribbon consistency this is the perfect batter here I have greased a bowl glass bowl with some oil and maida dry maida now I'm going to pour the batter into the bowl grease your pan so that the cake comes out nicely now with the help of the spatula I'm going to spread the batter to each corner of the bowl and make the surface quite flat done now I'm going to tap it a little bit to level it and then here I was preheating the karai for 15 minutes now the, in this preheated karai I'm going to place a stand I'm not gonna use any sand or salt for baking because that can you know give it a weird kind of smell so I'm going to bake it in this karai only now place the bowl on the stand and then cover it and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes on low flame after 30 minutes we are back it's a time of moment of truth the cake looks nice now I'm going to put a skewer inside and the skewer came clean that means the cake is done while it's still hot we are going to poke the cake using a fork like this we need to poke the uh, cake with fork so that it absorb as much malai or rubbery as possible so it's done now I'm going to pour the rubbery or malai that we had prepared and one more thing to remember at this stage that the cake should be hot and the malai or rabri should be warm so that the cake absorb too much of the malai and become really soft and flavorful so pour the malai all over it next I'm going to garnish it with some chopped almond and pistachio you can use your choices of nuts but if you garnish with pistachio and almonds it will look really nice because it will give some colors next I'm going to add few strands of saffron and it's done doesn't it look so yummy do make this easy recipe of malai cake and enjoy your Diwali with your friends and family and have a safe Diwali and trust me if you make this malai cake this Diwali at home your guest will just love it and your friends and family are gonna enjoy it thoroughly so do make this recipe of malai cake and let me know in the comment section below about the feedback and happy Diwali to you all enjoy and don't forget to like and share the video thank you